There are 16 unique weapons in the Far Harbor DLC of Fallout 4, and in this video I will be showing you how to get each one. Now starting off with the first Far Harbor weapon, you will need to go to the Echo Lake Lumber area. When you get here, look for this ruined building, and on the top floor you will find this red chest with the harvester inside of it. This is a very powerful and fast melee weapon that will act like a chainsaw. And the perk on this weapon gives you a chance to stagger enemies hit with this weapon, and due to the Harvester's very fast attack speed, you can basically stun lock enemies, making them easier to deal with, and they won't have a chance to fight back. From here we will head over to the Nucleus, and here we can find three more unique weapons. The first will come from the side quest called The Heretic, which is given to you by Grand Zealot Richter, and after you complete this side quest, you will be given the Adam's Judgment melee weapon. This could be one of the hardest hitting melee weapons in the game, and the perk on it makes this weapon deal an additional 100 radiation damage per swing. Next we can go to the vendor named Brother Kane in the Nucleus, and here we can purchase the Kiloton Radium Rifle. This is a very strong weapon that uses a common ammo type, and the perk on this weapon makes bullets explode on impact, doing an additional 15 damage to everything near the explosion. On top of that, this is also a Radium Rifle, which means it will also do radiation damage. And underneath this vendor you will find Sister Mai, who will give you the Ablution side quest, which will send you over to the Vim Pop Factory to get a pump. This will be very easy to do, and after you do this, she will give you the Radical Conversion weapon. This is another very good weapon, and the perk on it makes this weapon ignore 30% of your target's damage and energy resistances. But while you're in the Vim Pop Factory, you can also grab the 5th secret unique weapon on this list. When you get here, make your way to the room with the two large vats that will be near the pump from the Ablution side quest, and in the back corner of the room you will find an elevator that will take you to this hidden lab. Now if you have a high charisma skill, or if Nick Valentine is with you when you get here, you can talk to the intercom to be allowed into the lab, and here you will find the December's Child weapon. This is an amazing weapon that can do some really good damage, and it uses 556 ammo, and the perk on this weapon makes the weapon fire 25% faster, and reload 15% faster. Next we will head over to Horizon Flight 1207 and talk to the mutant Ericsson, and he will be selling the Butcher's Hook. This is a good melee weapon that can do some good damage, and the perk on it makes this weapon refill your action points on critical hits. From here we can travel over to Cliff's Edge Hotel, and make your way to the vault hidden under the hotel. When you get here, a robot will approach you, asking you to solve a mystery. Accept this side quest, and then follow the robot to a body, and to the right near the couch you will find the Fence Buster. Now this weapon isn't the best weapon in the game, but it can be pretty good, and it's a good addition to your collection. And the perk on this weapon makes the weapon ignore 30% of your target's damage and energy resistances. The next three weapons will come from Acadia. When you get here, make your way to the vendor Degen, and he will be selling the old Reliable and the Sergeant Ash. 
The Old Reliable is a very good weapon, and I consider it to be a must-have weapon. This weapon can do a lot of damage, and it can be modified to be even better, but the perk on this weapon makes the weapon shoot an additional projectile, which will double its damage and double your ammo count, as the additional projectile does not come from your reserve ammo. The Sergeant Ash is also kind of a good weapon, and the perk on it gives you a 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. After this we can look around Acadia for the NPC named Chase, who will give you the side quest called The Arrival. This is a very easy side quest and it doesn't take too long to complete it, and at the end of it you will get the Hitman's Overcharged Institute Rifle. This is a pretty good laser weapon and the perk on this weapon makes the weapon do 10% more damage while aiming. After that we can go over to Beaver Creek Lanes, and when you get here you will need to clear out all of the ghouls, then make your way to the office on the top floor, and here you will find the Striker. Now this weapon can do a lot of damage if it's used properly, but it can be difficult to use. But the perk on the weapon gives you a 50% chance to cripple a target's leg. The last 5 weapons on this list will come from the town of Far Harbor. First up, when you get here, talk to Cassie, and she will give you the side quest called Blood Tide. Now this quest isn't difficult, but it will take you a while as there are three parts to this quest. But at the end of it, she will give you the Blood Letter, which is a pretty decent melee weapon, and the perk on it applies 25 bleed damage to targets. After that we can talk to the Mariner at the front gate to start the whole breach side quest. Again there will be 3 parts to this side quest, and at the end of it you will be given the Defender's Harpoon Gun. This weapon will do a lot of damage, and the perk on it makes this weapon ignore 30% of your target's damage and energy resistances. After that we can talk to the vendor Alan Lee, and he will be selling two unique weapons, which will be the Admiral's Friend and the Fish Catcher. The Admiral's Friend is a harpoon weapon that can do an insane amount of damage due to its high base damage and the perk on it that will make this weapon do double damage if the target has full health. The Fish Catcher isn't nearly as good, but it can be a good addition to your collection, and the perk on this weapon reduces your action point cost by 40%. And finally, if you play through the storyline of Far Harbor and side with the town of Far Harbor at the end, you will be given the Lucky Eddie weapon. This is another lever action rifle that will give you plus 2 luck while you use it. And those are all of the unique weapons that you can find in the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4. But I would love to know which one of these is your favorite in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.